Hey guys, welcome back to Mid-Pack Racing. We got the Pro 2 lights here at Charlotte Motor Speedway on the Rallycross circuit. Of course, we it's week two of season three. We did pretty good last week in the Pro 2 lights. It wasn't a win, but it was a relatively good lap nonetheless, uh, race nonetheless and finish. But hopefully we can get a much better lap in than this the next one because that first section just did not seem to go right see if we can make it up here the second half but just so we can have a, at least a decent lap if the second one goes wrong but usually much better than this my practice laps were much better than this of course Ran a 52 something at, in uh, official practice before this, so. Much better turn there. slow there but still better than our first lap it's going to be close to an all time best it looks like pretty good section last section there as well and got an all time best there of 52.7 Definitely feel like I can do better there. As you can see on the bottom left, my optimal is just under 52 seconds, 51.933. So hopefully we could get some nice fast laps, just like our qualifying lap there uh, for most of those laps in the feature. And hopefully we can pick up a nice quick win here, pairing this my lap to the other qualifying no, laps nothing. it's pretty good so i'll see you when we go green oh, hey, One. so guys we're about to go green here kept that uh pole position got one jump in there pretty good start there We got the whole shot, if you will. First to the start finish line. Never get that the truck to turn there. We're pulling away from the second place car right now. He is putting up a bit more of a fight than I was expecting. Not one to scare me at all, but just to keep an eye out for if I do mess up. He might be there close by.
So, like I was trying to say earlier, we just want to keep a have a nice clean race. Don't have to try too hard for speed. But even now, I'm running 53 second laps and I'm still just pulling away from them. Looks like so. Want to run a clean race. Want to keep the safety rating up. I do believe that I rating, uh, I racing has allowed uh, dirt road to reach A class with the season three update. I'm not 100% sure on that. So, I'm going to try to if it is, but I just need to keep the safety rating up for that as much as possible. The one thing I never understood is that it is so hard to get this thing to oversteer here at Charlotte and every other track, Phoenix and Daytona, on dirt, it likes to oversteer so much, but that's what makes this track fun, I think, is if you can figure it out, even a little bit, gives you a really good advantage. Keep accidentally shifting. Not that it's a big deal or anything. But it just slows me up a little bit, I guess. And there really got sideways. I guess I wasn't in first like I thought I was. That's why. Even then, we only lost a second to the second place car. Now the guy, the second place car, and most other people in my relative that I can see, hooked the Joker lap already. Uh. The tricky thing is with Charlotte, it's the opposite of Daytona and Phoenix that these trucks race at, where the Joker lap is actually quicker. Uh, the other tracks are quicker. Charlotte is about a two second, one to two second lower lap. Could be free. I don't take it that often. I just typically leave it towards the end. Just because of how slow, how much slower it is, it's not like you can use it at your advantage to pass anyone like you can at Daytona or Phoenix. So it's not one I typically worry about or keep an eye on. But we just have to keep that in mind when looking at the relative time to the car behind us. That he is, in reality, like would be seven to six seconds behind uh, behind us if we were to take the Joker lap right now, so still don't think it's going to be any trouble, but just something to keep in the back of your head for when you're racing. That was a much better turn there.
had too much grip there and almost hit the wall. Just had to let out of it a little bit. I guess I'll take the Joker lap this next time just to get it out of the way. Make sure I don't forget to take it because I don't want to get penalized and lose the win then for just forgetting to do that Joker lap. Also interesting that it goes over what is technically the pit lane. Look up. Exit a little bit wide on the Joker lap exit, but don't think I'm gonna get penalized. I would have already if I was going to, so that always sucks, especially at Daytona. Sometime one time I just came couple inches over the line with my uh, inside tires, which you have to keep the, at least one side on the whatever side it is over the line and just went a little bit over it and ended up losing a position for that, so ended up Getting a real clean race here, just pulled away other than the number two car there. I wasn't trying for any qualifying type laps, nothing too quick, just nice and consistent and clean, especially just want to keep the safety rating up and uh, get getting the win is definitely more important now because I'm really focusing on trying to get a good uh, series standings for these Pro 2 lights after last after last uh, season, season 2, I've got 4th or 5th in my division and had no idea until the very end so definitely want to try to do pretty good this season and uh, hopefully get a top 3, maybe even win my division in the series standings but thanks for watching I'll see you next time